Chapter 3089 Dragon Blood Warrior Qin Fang. Qin Fang. Everyone jumped in shock. Lu Mingxuan asked, Didn't you say that you were going to refine pills? Long Chen's eyes also reddened. He immediately embraced this person. He was a dragon blood warrior from the first cores, led by Gu Yang. There were over 10,000 dragon blood warriors, but Long Chen knew every single one of their names. They were all his brothers. The refinement is done, said Long Chen irritably. To meet again in the immortal world, everything came back to him in a flash. At that time, the light of extermination had fallen upon the martial heaven continent. Everyone had thought that they were dead. Qin Feng was the same. When he woke up, his intuition told him that everyone else was the same and hadn't died. They had to have ascended to the immortal world. Reuniting today, both these hot-blooded men wept. This disturbance drew out Bei Shishi, Luo Bing, and the others, and they didn't dare to believe their eyes. So quickly, everyone was dumbfounded. With all the effort of letting out a fart, he finished refining a furnace of pills? Good brother, don't cry. In the future, all the dragon blood legion will be together again. We'll flip the immortal world on its head. After calming down, Long Chen patted Qin Feng's shoulder. Qin Feng also calmed himself down and nodded. I miss our brothers. Long Chen ignored them and then gave a case to Qin Feng. Eat one after midnight and one in the morning. Leave the rest for after tomorrow's competition. The dragon blood warriors had fought through life and death for many years. Now, they were all separated, and it was unknown if they were alive or dead. Hence, Long Chen felt just the same as Qin Fang. They believed that the others felt the same as well. Let's go talk inside. Long Chen invited Qin Feng in and introduced him to Bei Shishi and the others. To prevent Lu Mingxuan from continuing to interrogate Qin Feng, Long Chen then let Qin Feng rest in his room. When they learned that Qin Feng had also passed through the knockout stage, they were shocked. It had to be known that Qin Feng's current cultivation base was only at the sixth event stage of the Divine Flame Realm. Most people participating in the competition had reached the ninth event stage. Furthermore, while Qin Feng's blood qi was powerful, there was no aura of merging with heaven and earth. In other words, he was not a primal. For him to manage to get into the top 10,000 was quite shocking. The night passed silently. The next day, everyone gathered once more. Today, Qin Feng seemed invigorated. Through his narration, they learned that he had managed to get a spot to participate in the Nine Prefecture Convention by buying one from a sect. When he ascended to the immortal world, he didn't have any resources. He could only risk his life in a small mercenary squad. Through hunting and risking his life searching for treasures, he managed to pay for cultivation expenses. Let's go. There are going to be unending battles today as well. Hopefully. I can encounter a few tougher opponents, said Long Chen while walking toward the rising sun. By relying on his power, he had muddled his way through mercenary squads and adventuring parties, managing to accumulate enough resources so that his cultivation base didn't stagnate. Just a few months ago, he had led a group of adventurers on a hunt and inadvertently gained a precious medicinal plant that they exchanged for quite a few immortal crystals. That was no small sum for him. He was originally planning on buying some medicinal pills so that he could reach the ninth event stage. But then he heard of the Nine Prefecture Convention. Just like Long Chen, he had thought that if there were other dragon blood warriors in the area, they would definitely attend. So he had relied on his connections to buy a spot from a local sect. Every sect had to pay quite a price to attend the Nine Prefecture Convention. Some sects couldn't afford to just be eliminated. So they sold some of their spots to reduce their losses. Thus, Qin Feng had come here. However, the sect that Qin Feng had bought his spot from was truly unlucky. On the way here, they met some enemies and their disciples had no choice but to run over with their legs. As a result, they encountered a ferocious beast, of a group of over 20 people, 
Only three managed to get away. Even the elder protecting them was eaten by the beast. By the time he arrived at Silver Moon City, he was almost rejected at the gates. The registration for the Marshall Dow Convention had ended. But when they heard their circumstances, they truly felt them to be pitiful, and so they made an exception and let the three of them in. By that time, the Dow Discussion Convention was already over, and having rushed over so quickly, Ching Fung was exhausted. He then found a random corner and rested. He barely got a chance to rest before the Marshall Dow Convention started. Thus, he rushed over, and in his rush, he didn't hear any of the rumors about Long Chen. It was only through today's competition that he saw Long Chen's name on the list of the top 10,000. When he saw his name, his heart almost stopped beating. After asking around, he almost wept from emotion. He was sure that the arrogant boss Long San was his boss. He then asked around for Long Chen's residence and finally arrived. Brother, it's been hard on you. Long Chen didn't expect Qin Feng to have faced such predicaments. Qin Feng almost didn't have a chance to come over. It wasn't hard. Seeing boss, everything was worth it, said Qin Feng. Long Chen checked Qin Feng's body and sighed. The medicinal pills that you've consumed during this time were too low grade. Too many pill toxins have accumulated in your body. Furthermore, focusing on breaking through has caused your meridians to narrow and reduced your combat potential. There was no way around it. For Qin Feng, just surviving was already a problem. Hence, he had no choice but to try to increase his power as much as possible. Only then could he gain more wealth and buy better medicinal pills. In his poor state, he couldn't even afford to consume good medicinal pills. Luo Bing and the others were startled by Long Chen's words. He was saying that Qin Feng's combat potential was reduced, but he still managed to get into the top 10,000. This seemingly ordinary fellow was so powerful? First, eat this medicinal pill. It will expel the toxins. Once they're gone, I'll help you expand your meridians. Then once your meridians are recovered, you can continue breaking through. Long Chen handed Qin Feng a medicinal pill, and the latter directly consumed it without even looking. After finding Long Chen, it was as if he had found his pillar. He would no longer need to worry about medicinal pills. That blessed feeling couldn't even be described with words. It was as if a starving beggar no longer needed to worry about food or clothing. What Bei Shishi and the others found curious was that Qin Feng's expression was extremely calm when Long Chen introduced them to him. It had to be known that whether it was Luo Bing and Luo Ning, or Lu Mingxuan and Mu Qingyan, all of them were rare beauties. This was not including the peerless Bei Shishi. Most people would feel ill at ease with them present, afraid that saying a single wrong word would offend these beauties. But Qin Feng seemed indifferent. Hey. Can I ask you, did your boss have many women around him before? Were they pretty? Once Long Chen left the room to refine pills to widen Qin Feng's meridians, leaving him alone with them, Lu Mingxuan immediately probed Qin Feng. Qin Feng nodded, a bit more than all of you, and they were all as beautiful as heavenly fairies. I don't believe you. Can you give me a spiritual imprint so I can see them? Asked Lu Mingxuan. What is there to look at? They're not as dirty as you, said Long Chen. Everyone jumped in shock. Lu Mingxuan asked, Didn't you say that you were going to refine pills? The refinement is done, said Long Chen irritably. So quickly, everyone was dumbfounded. With all the effort of letting out a fart, he finished refining a furnace of pills? Long Chen ignored them and then gave a case to Qin Feng. Eat one after midnight and one in the morning. Leave the rest for after tomorrow's competition. To prevent Lu Mingxuan from continuing to interrogate Qin Feng, Long Chen then let Qin Feng rest in his room. The night passed silently. The next day, everyone gathered once more. Today, Qin Feng seemed invigorated. Let's go. There are going to be unending battles today as well. Hopefully. I can encounter a few tougher opponents, 
said Long Chen while walking toward the rising sun.